story to tell. The People's Liberation Army Air Force currently has about 1,700 warplanes, a significant portion of which are manufactured domestically. Most of its military aircraft are inspired or copied from Russian or American designs. Since the 1950s, Moscow has transferred many technologies to Beijing, including tanks and jets. The Chinese soon gained experience with these technologies. In the late 1950s, in China, they had deployed the assembly of the J-6 fighter, a licensed version of the Soviet MiG-19. The Chinese soon showed their ambitions. The Air Force wanted to acquire a jet attack aircraft for the air superpower based on this machine almost immediately. But development was interrupted for several years due to economic hardship. In 1963, the program was restored to develop a ground attack aircraft designated the Q5 by the manufacturer Nanchang. On June 4, 1965, the Q5 took off for the first time and successfully made its first maiden test flight. In 1970, the Q5 entered service and became the first production aircraft of its own design by the PRC. Later, more than 10 modifications of the aircraft were created for the old Air Force and six versions of the export attack aircraft. Based on the Soviet MiG-19, the Q-5 retains some of the original features and components, but with serious differences in appearance. Chinese designers have removed the frontal air intake and adopted a pointed nose cone. Instead, the air intakes were moved to the size of the fuselage. The nose section was to house a planned target radar. In early versions, the Q5's nose was completely hollow and had no radar. Due to being born in a period when China was facing too many difficulties, and political upheaval, the first Q-5 can only be considered as a flying iron. Its electronic systems were extremely poor. Compared with the original MiG-19, the Q-5 has a longer fuselage. The Chinese plane has a length of 15.65 meters, a wingspan of 9.68 meters, a height of 4.33 meters, an empty weight of 6.4 tons, and a maximum takeoff weight of 11.8 tons. An internal bomb bay was also fitted, which proved to be extremely impractical, simply too small. It was later used to store an additional fuel tank instead of bombs. New wings with greater area and reduced grip were incorporated. The single vertical tail fin has its area expanded for improved stability. Overall, leader of the aft fuselage and wings were to change in the new Chinese endeavor. The Q-5 shares the same engines with the J-6. It is powered by two Li Ming Wupen 6A afterburning turbojet engines, 
producing 29.42 kN of dry thrust H and 36.78 kN with afterburner. The Q5 is as fast as the MiG-19 and J6 at low level, thanks largely to the aerial road fuselage. The aircraft can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.12 a range of 2,000 km, a combat radius of 400 km with maximum payload, a service ceiling of 16,500 meters, and a rate of climb of 103 meters per second. Typical armament for the Q5 comprised two TAF 23-1, 23mm cannon with 100 rounds per gun, mounted in the wing rows. Two pylons under each wing and two pairs of tandem pylons under the engines were provided in addition to the weapons bay. A total of 1,000 kg of ordnance could be carried internally, with an additional 1,000 kg externally. The Q5 can be equipped with a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, mainly for short-range self-defense, rocket parts, and drop bombs. Initially, only the conventional tap. However, later, laser-guided versions were introduced. Naturally, the Q5's weapons capabilities have evolved over time to adopt more modern weapons. The original Q5s were equipped with only the most primitive electronics, including a communication system, an electronic compass, a high gauge system, and an optical viewfinder. Due to poor aeronautical equipment, the Q5 was entirely dependent on ground navigation. When contact with air traffic lost, this jet would be almost completely useless in searching and targeting. To overcome these shortcomings, a total of nearly 20 improved versions of the Q5 were later released, gradually upgrading the electrical and electronic systems so that it could work better. China built about 1,300 Q5s, some of them retired, but about 350 still in service. The aircraft has been exported to Myanmar, North Korea, Sudan, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. Interestingly, a handful of Q5s were even modified into tactical nuclear bombers in the early 1970s. The aircraft was equipped with more powerful engines, though the Q5 proved a bit on the small side for a nuclear bomber. Q5 has engaged in combat in a number of minor conflicts. The Sudanese Air Force used its A5 attack jets an export version of the Q5 during the war in Darfur. In March 2015, some Myanmar Air Force A5C jets flying shorties against the Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army accidentally dropped bombs on a Chinese village in Gangma County, Xiongnan inside the Chinese border, killing four villagers with the People's Liberation Army responding by deploying HQ-12 surface to emissaries and fighter jets. On April 20, 2017, two Q-5s were seen in Bohai Bay practicing air strikes against ground targets in the wake of increased tensions on the Korean Peninsula.
my video of Chinese Nanchan purify answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.